हेलो फ्रेंड्स नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन इन द इनिशियट जुलाई ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू सेशन ओके सो वी हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस द ऑलरेडी ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग विद द ट्वेंटी वन क्वेश्चन एंड दिस इज आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द फेवरेट टॉपिक ऑफ इनिशियट एंड आई वॉन्ट टू टेल द फ्यूचर एक्सपीरियंस दैट इविंग सार्कोमा इज वन ऑफ द फेवरेट टॉपिक ऑफ इनिशियट पीपल्स स्पेशली सो वेन एवर द फिफ्टीन ईयर वेन एवर यू सी फिफ्टीन ईयर मीन्स दिस इज बॉय एंड दिस इज द एज ग्रुप इज मैं बिफोर द एडल्ट्री एज ग्रुप सो यू हैव टू थिंक दिस शुड बी ए केस ऑफ इविंग एंड वेन देर इज ए डायफिशियल देन योर डायग्नोसिस शुड बी मोर टूवर्ड्स इविंग एंड देर इज ई डब्ल्यू एस आर देन यू आर टोटली विल बी ऑन इविंग सार्कोमा एंड यू कैन सी देर इज ए स्मॉल राउंड ब्लू सेल्स स्मॉल राउंड ब्लू सेल्स एंड आई थिंक देर वॉज एट समथिंग अराउंड टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एम्स एग्जामिनेशन दे हैव आस्क रिगार्डिंग इविंग सर्कोमा दैट देर इज ए टी इलेवन एंड ट्वेंटी टू ट्रांसलोकेशन ओके सो दिस इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड यू हैव टू ऑल्सो रिमेंबर फॉर फ्यूचर दैट इट इज एस हंड्रेड पॉजिटिव मिक टू पॉजिटिव so this is very very important so this should be our answer that is eving sarcoma okay next is the 22 uh, sorry that i don't find that uh, actual image that was asked in our initiate but i have uh, got a uh, like similar picture in uh, regarding this radiological picture of the urethral trauma so question is a patient on with rta and following catheterization no urine was passing for 2 hour but no blood at meters so no blood at meters but this is very important that not pushing any urine for 2 hour following catheterization so we have to go for simply supra pubic cystectomy because this should be better because you have to avoid for wait and watch because it can cause trauma to the uh, bladder so better go for supra pubic cystectomy this should be our answer okay next is the 23rd and uh, this is i think also a very very important question for both neat, uh, neat peoples and initiate and question is that the gcs is 3 okay so this is very poor but on ct scan absolutely normal so it is simple forward this should be our diffusion axonal injury is the diagnosis okay okay this should be the mane uh, diagnosis diffusion axonal injury and uh, next is the 24 and uh, this is also uh, i think a repeat question you can uh, tell because it was similar type of question was asked in 2021 initiate july session okay similar type of question that is the the uh, draw a uh, cell wall okay and you have asked regarding which of the following enzyme is according to the action of mechanism of the antibiotics okay so here the beta lactam and you can easily remember this is something as transpeptidases okay next is this is also favorite question this is also very frequently asked and this can you can see this is around the t4 dermatome and this is particularly around a dermatome so whenever you can see there is a dermatome distribution of any vesicular like lesion this is simply the harpy zoster okay and then the next question is the sequence of from exolumen to lumen the how the spermatogonia primary spermatocyte to spermatogen spermatozoa so i you just remember this should be if it is a lumen and if it is the uh, the wall so this should be released into the lumen the spermatozoa so it should be the near to the lumen so uh, on the lumen uh, near the lumen firstly the spermatozoa then the spermatid then the primary spermatocyte okay and finally the spermatogonia this should be the sequence so from if it is asked from exolumen then it is exolumen to lumen then spermatogonia to primary to primary spermatocyte to spermatid to spermatozoa but if it is asked from lumen to exolumen then it is spermatogonia to spermatid then to primary spermatocyte to spermatogonia okay this should be and uh, so uh, this is also very important topic just go through the spermatogonia and ugonia how it is developing stages it is very very important especially ugonia stages are very very important you have to remember by your heart and when i see this uh, question i was so happy because during my internship 
uh, I was found a case of BPH and it was I think around 45 and then sir told me that if it is uh, above 20 then it is uh, 20 is a normal and above 50 we have to go for treatment protocols. So then I just remember the sales call and simply the adult volume is normal is 20 ml okay the prostate volume. Next is superior gluteal nerve. This is also very very important topic because superior gluteal nerve supplies the we all know that is gluteus medius, gluteus minimus, minimus and tensor fascia lata. But you have to also remember that in case of gluteus medius and gluteus minimus there is a larching topic is very very important. So just go through the topic that how it is uh, supplying the how it is uh, triddle and bug sign everything it is very very important. This is also uh, image is not actually like this, but I have just found the similar type of image and this was probably the first lumbrical, first lumbrical and the first lumbrical and second lumbrical is supplied by median nerve. Okay. And third and fourth lumbrical is supplied by the ulnar nerve. And I think that image in our exam was most probably the first lumbrical. So our answer should be median nerve that is the supply okay next is the anterior shoulder dislocation causes injury too and uh, you frequently know this is very very common that is the axillary nerve okay and uh, this is very very common question okay next is the this was a controversial controversial question because bone fracture seen in uh, which of the oral hypoglycemic agent because i it is the actual answer should be pyoglitazone pyoglitazone but problem was that there was no option regarding this drugs so i am more thinking towards answer should be kana gliflozin and uh, i am bit uh, doubt but my sirs told me that it should be kana gliflozin if there is no pyoglitazone i just i remember there is no py pyoglitazone in our options so it should be kana gliflozin i think okay t half of letrozole it should be uh, it is around two days okay so better there is no 40 hours so better go for 45 hour okay apply for letrozole and this was also in another controversial question because according to the question this should be the inverse agonist that is minus one and uh, this was the antagonist this should be zero and this should be zero to more than zero to less than one that is a partial agonist and full agonist is one but problem was that when we found this was correct this was correct but the well, another option there was both was mentioned as antagonist so i marked it like that because there was no such like the inver uh, this uh, but because they marked it like a b c and d a was okay b was okay but c and d they both mentioned that is the antagonist and uh, i don't find anything regarding actually like that so i just marked it okay next is the a reproductive age group uh, lady on tamoxifen for breast carcinoma for five years okay now see one to conceive and how what was her advice what is your advice and you have to know that tamoxifen should be continued for 10 years for its management and he she was on five years so he, he should continue the tamoxifen okay next is ACTH is useful is it very very common question very simple West syndrome okay West syndrome is the uh, in, in which the ACTH is a drug of choice and you know this is this uh, question has been repeated this is the achalasia cardia achalasia cardia and you know the what is the main stain investigation obviously esophageal manometry okay this is the gold standard next question similar but they asked which is not done so very simple 24 hour peach monitoring because this should be done in GERD gastroesophageal reflux disease and it is their uh, endoscopy should can we can do look for the there is a obstruction of the lumen and esophageal monitoring we already do and biopsy obviously you can do so it should be A next is the in a 50 milligram PCM actually 200 milligram found because when we found there is 200 milligram and other and 300 milligram something others so what is called obviously we have mixed in this composition suppose something is mixed so this is probably adulteration okay adulteration of drug next is the auditory pathway asked and this was this is also a very very favorite topic of any exam that is you have to remember the mnemonic says 
इको लीमा आई थिंक एवरी वन यू नो दैट इज इट इज इको लीमा एंड ऑब्वियसली एट कैन यू लव न्यूक्लियस एंड कॉक्लियर ऑलिवरी लेटरल लिमनिस्कस इनफ्री ऑलिवरी मीडियल जेनिकुलर बॉडी ऑल्ट्री कॉटिक्स इको लीमा ठीक है ओके यू हैव टू जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस दिस इज द सुपीरियर ऑलिवरी न्यूक्लियस सुपीरियर ऑलिवरी न्यूक्लियस लैटरल जेनिकुलेट बॉडी ओके इनफीरियर कॉलिकुलस नेक्स्ट इज द काउंटर करेंट मेकानिजम इज प्रेजेंट इन एंड आई थिंक यू नो दिस इज प्रेजेंट इन किडनी इट इज एवरी वन नो एंड इन इंटेस्टनल वेसल इन इंटेस्टनल स्पेशल इन द विलाई देर इज प्रेजेंस ऑफ काउंटर करेंट मेकानिजम ओके एंड ऑब्वियसली देर शुड बी प्रेजेंट इन टेस्ट इज फॉर स्पर्माटोजेनिसिस सो इट इज द बी सी डी ओके सो दिस वॉज अबाउट द नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी क्वेश्चन एंड थैंक यू फ्रेंड्स फॉर वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो एंड इफ uh you uh, want to see the next question next of uh, 20 and other just uh, subscribe my channel and press the bell button and if you like this video please share this video and thank you friends for watching this video.